guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me already my name is nancy chow and why don't you follow me on my social medias to get to know me better also don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like my content and also if you're not new welcome back so in today's video, I'm literally going through my hair journey. As you can see, I have an afro. Right now it's not really combed out properly, but it's usually a little bit bigger and a little bit frothy. And it's kind of like nine o'clock right now. But obviously I've been lying down and she's got all crazy again, but I tried to comb her out, but she doesn't want to go back to her state. So I left her alone. In today's video, we're going to go through my hair journey. Yes. I cut all my hair off and I have pictures and yeah, it's going to be a bit of an interactive video. So I'm literally going to show you guys my hair journey from the very day that I started it really. So the first picture I'm going to show you is when my hair, the beginning. So when my hair, I didn't really have control of my hair, I kind of just go with the flow and my mum kind of used to do it. So my mum used to relax my hair every time I'd get it taken out from braids. So it would it would vary i don't know how much i would have my hair relaxed so in this first picture i'll put it here and um, my hair was really relaxed and this was like january this was around january the 6th oh that was like four years ago I, I don't know how old i was but that's what my hair used to look like and honestly i didn't like the relaxed look i thought it didn't suit me and yeah i don't know why but i just didn't like it so i said to my mom can you stop relaxing my hair and mom obviously she wasn't happy with it so um she was like why da, da, da. and i was just like i don't want my hair relaxed so she stopped relaxing my hair i don't remember the day this was but she stopped relaxing my hair because i was at that age where i could start to realize i think i was like 16 i don't remember so after mom stopped relaxing my hair um my hair became like its natural texture like this again so but it was still quite damaged and like loose 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 curls my hair's already like loose curls i don't know if you can see it's already got quite loose curls already but it was it was more like very very loose curls and i hated it i thought it wasn't cute but that's the second picture it was more like an afro and this was around the 30th of august so there was a lot of time for my hair to like get to the state it, from relaxed to kind of more afro-y. I still didn't like it. I thought the curls weren't, you know, it wasn't my real hair texture and I didn't like that. I thought it was kind of like, I just didn't like it guys. I didn't rate it. So I was just like, do you know what? I want to cut my hair off. And I had this feeling for, I think at least a good year, I was like, I want to cut my hair off, I want to cut my hair off, I want to cut my hair off. And every time I'd say it, people would be like, no, don't cut your hair. Um don't cut your hair so whatever so instead of doing that i cut off the ends where like the relaxed bits were and i let it be more of an afro and um but i don't know my hair was like afro -y, very very afro and um it was more like this but a little bit more loose i still hated it so i was like i really want to cut my hair I really want to cut my hair I really want to cut my hair and like after a year of saying it i just thought i was in the toilet one day i saw the scissors and I thought, do you know what, it's my hair. And I, <laughs> I cut it off like kitchen scissors, guys. I cut all my hair off with kitchen scissors, like right down to the little, little roots. I'll show you a picture, a video actually. All of them are videos. I don't know why I said picture, but um, I cut it all off. But it was in January time because it was right near my birthday. Um, I cut my hair off and that was in 2008. So I cut my, 2008, 2018. I cut my hair off in the t in the toilet like a bush person. Like I literally cut it off, and I was gonna use a razor to scrape it, but I was too scared that I would shave like my skin. So literally, I cut all my hair off, and it was on the floor. My mum came in, and she was like, <laughs> "It was so bad." Everyone was looking at me like I was crazy. But um, so this picture is from the 10th of February. So this is like a couple of weeks after I cut it. This is what my hair looks like. Yeah, she can laugh, obviously I'm bald, but I loved it, I absolutely loved it. So I've got like a video. I absolutely loved my hair at this point. I thought it was so cute. I thought it was so cute. If you think I'm looking down, I'm actually looking at my um, laptop because I can see my pictures on my laptop. So I'm trying to look at the dates so I can tell you guys, don't worry. 
Um, so yeah, at this point, I really loved my hair short. I could like touch my head. I don't know why I like that, but I could touch my head and I thought it was so, so, so cute. So anyway, after I gave my family a heart attack with me cutting my hair out of the blue, um, I decided, okay, I like my head short, but my hair's growing now and I'm not gonna cut it after I just cut it, do you know what I mean? So I was like, I cut it once and that was for like growth reasons. I wanted it to grow and I didn't want it to be damaged and I wanted it to grow from the root. So um, I thought, okay, what's the best way to do this? So I relaxed, ooh, I did not relax my hair. I decided to do finger waves. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do finger waves. I love finger waves, they look so good. It took me so long to learn, but I finally did it. Stay, I love them so much. Um, somehow I managed to hide the fact that I cut my hair from my boyfriend for almost like four months and then like I said oh babe I want to do finger waves and he was like your hair's too long for that and then I had to tell him anyway this is how I told him I showed him this video and he was like where's your hair <laughs> anyway that's a whole different story for another day but um, this was the 6th of October so my hair grew quite fast considering I'd cut it in December so it took like a whole So maybe like 10 months that's probably wrong probably like a t almost a year to grow my hair back and it was still quite small so i was able to do finger waves oh i i thought about relaxing it for the finger waves but i was just like no um i can't damage my hair again because what was the point of cutting it do you know what i mean so i kept it natural and then um i'll put another picture here i kept letting it grow and this was my hair in May in 2019. So my hair grew back quite significantly in the space of a year. I don't know why I didn't update this for a year, but my hair grew back quite significantly and quite stronger. And I was super, super happy with the results. Like it took me so long to grow it. And I kept using these products. If you want to know what products and stuff I used, I'll do a separate video for it. Just comment and like. So yeah. Um, and then in 2019, my hair, Sorry, in September 2019, this is my hair again. And obviously it kept, it was still like super small. I know my hair looks quite small here, but it's actually quite long. This is how long it is without shrinkage. But um, it kept going and I was super happy with it. And then as you can tell, like, so we had a massive jump to December, the 27th of December, which is this picture in 2019 and this is where i had my afro and it was fully like growing out it was so healthy and then in march i had a massive growth um in my hair and i loved it it was super natural um and i use this product i can't remember what it is like i said i'll do a separate video for like products and things but i used a product it was like an asian hair oil and it was so good for my hair and this this picture was in march 2000 and the 11th of march to, the, to 2020 there was so much growth and yeah i just i just loved it and um i remember like my hair being super thin and then after i used the hair oil my hair like was so much more like chunkier and like there was like grip to it do you know what I mean? and then i just thought to myself okay i'm gonna keep letting it go out and use this lotion um oil um so then this is the picture on the 14th of july 2020 and this is when my hair like started to fill out because obviously it was like growing like this i don't know why because i remember cutting certain parts of it i really think i cut here uh just to like trim it and uh, it started growing like more like this but in this picture on the 14th of July, it started growing out again. So this started growing out with it. And I was so happy with that because I was like, I need my hair to grow out of all of it. I didn't want to like look like I had a faded trim. So I did that. And I was so happy because, I don't know, I, I was tired of looking like a boy, even though I liked my hair short. And those times when my hair was growing, when I was like, oh, I want to cut it, I want to cut it. But I kept saying to myself, no, you can't cut your hair again. So I didn't do it. But, um. This picture is the most recent. This is the 4th of January, 2020. And I don't know why my hair looks so short, maybe because I'm lying down but um, in this picture, but it looks so, like this is the healthiest my hair has been. And honestly, like through using like Cantu, the Asian hair oil, it's been so good for my hair. And um, yeah, I just really, really love it. So that's kind of been my journey of me cutting the big chop for me. 
and um any questions let me know if you want any tips let me know if you want more content and videos on this let me know but this was just a quick little video to show you guys my journey and how my hair is growing and how it's going so far thank you guys for watching and comment if you want any other content on this and yeah i'll be back next week with a new video thank you guys for watching bye guys